those 12 universal laws to become a successful commercial real estate agent. So I'm gonna read to you from this article called The 12 Universal Laws You Need to Know to Master Manifestation. I'll include that link uh, in this, the description for this video. Um, I'll read you the law and then I'll kind of talk to you about how you can relate that law into your commercial real estate business that you're building as a commercial real estate agent, how you can use that law in your commercial real estate business to help you to become more successful. Uh, I'm applying these 12 universal laws into my real estate business and I'm just seeing all sorts of positive momentum, good interactions, uh, just more uh, fortuitous happenings occurring because, well, I'm abiding by universal law. So here we go. The law of attraction is based upon a philosophy that like vibration attracts like vibrations. Made well known by the book and movie, The Secret, many people have been able to achieve their dreams and abundance faster by using this law. If you can believe something to be true, it can become true, or at least brings whatever you want faster while you're still doing the work. But did you know that the law of attraction is not the only law? In fact, there are a total of 12 universal laws and using each can greatly benefit your life and explain to you how manifestation works and in what circumstances it does not work. Number one, the law of divine oneness. The law of divine oneness is the very first universal law and the most important one to understand. It explains that everything is connected to everything else and in the big picture, the whole universe is one. Each human is connected to another human making the global community. People are connected with Mother Nature and the animal kingdom. The Earth itself is connected to every planet and inhabitant on it that has ever been and ever will be. When you recognize that all is one, you start to see life differently and you treat every person and every experience more lovingly. The law also reminds you that your every word, action, and belief affects everyone and everything else, so be very intentional with all aspects of your life. Now, how can you use this law of divine oneness to become a commercial real estate agent? Well, it's pretty obvious. Everything is one. Everything is inter interconnected. So why not use your words? Why not use your actions? Why not use your intentions to help everyone, to help your community, to help business owners to expand into new locations, right? So you need to look at these properties. You need to meet these business owners. You need to meet these investors. You need to learn your area. You need to learn what sort of uh, things, what sort of businesses, what sort of companies, what sort of opportunities can move into what sort of properties in order to talk to those people and help them through using the law of divine oneness where you are using your words, your actions, and your beliefs, and they are affecting everyone and everything else. And you're being very intentional uh, with your words, with how you are running your commercial real estate business, and this will affect the all. This will affect the one. Moving on, the law of vibration. Everything in this world and the universe has its own vibration. Each living thing, object, situation, sound, thought, and feeling vibrates differently. Every frequency can affect your own. This law reminds you to live a life where you choose to surround yourself with people and experiences that are high vibration, to keep growing vibrationally. Now, if you want to attract high vibrational things, abundance, good health, closed deals, helping more business owners to expand into new locations, new opportunities, creating more jobs. These are all high vibrational things. If you want to attract those high vibrational things, doesn't it make sense for you to vibrate on that equally high vibration, right? Because if you're vibrating at a low, at a low frequency and these things are up here, there's no way you'll ever attract them into your life. You're just not going to, you're not going to align. However, if you keep yourself in a positive mindset, if you keep yourself uh, going, even when things might not be turning out the way that you thought that they would turn into, and you are continuing to keep your vibration high, you are continuing to make those calls and to meet more people and to be healthy and to learn and to explore and to know what you're talking about and to always be a, a, a student of the commercial real estate game, 
if you keep your vibration high, then naturally you will align with other high vib vibrational things such as abundance, manifestation, helping other people, earning commissions from deals closed, helping people to expand into new locations. You get the idea. Next, the law of inspired action. In order to manifest things on this earth, you must participate. This is the biggest reason why some law of attraction followers do not succeed. If you believe but do not act on it, it will probably not happen. Your actions must match your desires and your commitment level should too. Every day you must take steps that bring you closer to your goals. Now this one is easy. You got to show up. You got to put in the work. A minimum Monday through Friday, nine to five. Okay. Now those are business hours. That's when you can be running your commercial real estate business. That's when other business owners are open to either looking at properties or they can open up their properties for other business owners to check them out and to see if that might be a good opportunity for them to expand their business. You got to show up. There's no other way. You need to use this law of inspired action. You need to apply it. Because if you don't, then the opposite is true, right? If you don't show up, if you don't make the calls, if you don't send those emails, if you don't make those flyers, if you don't make the videos, if you don't meet business owners, you don't look at the properties, you don't do the showings, you don't write up the paperwork, you don't collect the commissions. Well, if you don't do those things, then what's gonna happen? Nothing, nothing will happen. However, if you do the things, what will happen? Eventually or sooner than you think, or in a better fashion than you anticipated. The thing that you were actually showing up to do, running your commercial real estate business. Number four, the law of correspondence. This law is interconnected with the law of divine oneness. This law reminds you that your actions here on earth ripple into other dimensions, other lifetimes, and all parts of the universe. Think about it as a spiral. Everything is a pattern that repeats itself on all levels of existence, not just here on the three-dimensional Earth. As above, so below. So within, so without. Everything that you do has a ripple effect onto other things that are both seen and unseen. And things that happen that you cannot see have an effect on you. It's just up to you to abide by these laws so that you can... Uh, be aligned with those positive things that are happening that you cannot see. And when you're aligned with those positive things, you're aligned with that vibration, then you will attract more other high vibrational things. Law number five, the law of cause and effect. This law is very straightforward and the one that is easiest to see in action on earth. Everything you do has a reaction or a consequence, no matter how small. On a spiritual level, Every thought is also a cause that has an effect. Be mindful of your thoughts, actions, and what you choose to surround yourself with. Now, if you are constantly being negative, if you're constantly thinking, I can't close a deal, uh, everything I do is just a failure, then what do you think you will manifest into your life? What do you think will be the reality that you will see? What do you think you will attract into your life with those low vibrational thoughts? Right low vibrational things, the things that will keep you stuck in those low vibrational ways where you are negative, where you, you think you are a failure, where nothing you're doing is working. But if you create the cause where you are doing positive actions, which are leading to positive results, and you never quit, what will that affect? What will be the result of that? What will you see? That's right. You'll see the things that you can see in your mind's eye that you anticipate happening, that you expected good things or better. Number six, the law of compensation. The law of compensation says that you receive what you put out. This again inc includes your thoughts. If a person spent a lifetime doing good deeds, but they were doing it while having negative thoughts and not out of the goodness of their hearts, they may be unpleasantly surprised that they will not be rewarded. Same thing can happen with lottery winners. Most lottery winners end up ruining their lives with the money that they received because they probably did not act in a way that would earn them this abundance. If you live a life being kind to others, grateful for what you already have, and doing good things because you consciously choose them, you will be compensated. This one is fairly self-explanatory, the law of compensation. When you do the work, you will be compensated. When you do the things that you should be doing, 
obviously you will be rewarded. You will see the results of those good things that you're doing. It might take a little bit longer than you anticipated, or it might be shorter than you anticipated, but eventually it will happen. Number seven, the law of attraction. The law of attraction, which was discussed above, says that to attract good things, you must have full faith in them. You must feel optimistic, positive, and loving. But if you have any fear, negativity, or pessimism, you will attract exactly what you don't want. A cycle many people today are sadly stuck in. Now you'll see this plenty of times in commercial real estate where maybe you thought you had a done deal happening, but for whatever reason, that deal just didn't close. Well, if you feel yourself just being affected by that negatively and you're letting that affect you every day and letting it bring you down and putting you into a bad mood and you're not making the calls, you're not going out and meeting people, you're not checking out these new properties and learning about all these new opportunities that are happening around you, won't that just continue that negativity cycle that you're stuck in? Yes, so the best way to get out of that is to have those positive thoughts, have those positive feelings, have those positive beliefs, which will lead to, lead to those positive things that you can see at first in your mind's eye and then eventually in your reality. Number eight, the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. This law explains that everything is always changing even if it is at a level you cannot see yet. This is great because that means that no matter what happens now, you can change your life or trigger positive change by your actions, choices, and beliefs. So for this one, the law of perpetual transmutation of energy, it's the energy that you put into your business that started with that energy that you wanted to create new opportunities. You saw an opportunity, you saw a vacant building, you saw a vacant parcel of land, you saw uh, one particular building that could be used for something more useful than its current state. And you took it upon yourself to use those words, to meet those owners, to take those actions, to market that property, to meet other business owners who might be open to taking a look at that opportunity. You transmuted that energy into that commercial real estate deal, which then resulted into the positive things of a closed deal and a commission and more jobs and more opportunities and more tax revenue generated for reinvestment back into improving infrastructure and benefiting more communities worldwide. You transmuted your positive energy into creating more positive energy. Law number nine, the law of relativity. Law of relativity says that everything in life is neutral. It is you who attach meanings and emotions to your own experiences. To another person, your challenges may seem whimsical and someone else may not appreciate what they have and you want. This is because everything is neutral. Everything is relative. Keep this in mind if you ever feel like you have it worse than someone else. If you stay grateful and attach more positive meanings to events, life answers you accordingly. Now again, this is that which you are grateful for, you will attract more of. The opposite is true as well. That which you're not grateful for, that is keeping you stuck in that negative vibration, you will attract more negative vibration types of things to keep you aligned with that energy that you're, you're putting out anyway. Number 10, the law of balance. The meaning of this law is that creation needs two energies for existence, masculine and feminine, yin and yang. Both energies exist in every person and every living thing, and both need to be merged beautifully together for a harmonious self. Each plays a different and equally important role. Neither can survive without the other. You must look into your life to see if these two energies are balanced in order to live a healthy, happy, and authentic life. Now, for me, the law of balance, how it applies to commercial real estate is you always need two sides of a transaction, a buyer and a seller, uh, the tenant and the landlord. Now it's up to you as the commercial real estate agent to bring this balance to the table, to bring that buyer to that seller, to bring that investor to that property in order for that deal to close and for you to collect your commission and for that business or that building uh, to be turned into something more useful than its current state that will benefit more people. It is up to you to provide that law of balance. Law number 11, law of polarity. Everything in life has its opposite. There is a day and there's a night. 
There is a hot and cold. There is white and there is black. Everything, therefore, has a silver lining. That bad breakup you had taught you something that will positively change your life. If you got fired, it opened a door for a better opportunity. This is true for every event in life. On some occasions, it may not be you who will experience the positive side of a negatively perceived event. Because we're all connected, as the law of divine oneness reminds you, everything comes back full circle to help you in the end. Now, just because a particular deal or a particular client or basically something that you want to happen didn't happen at that point, doesn't mean it's not going to happen at another point and be of even greater benefit. And everything that does occur in your commercial real estate business contains some sort of a lesson. Usually it's the things that don't go your way that provide the most useful lesson. Okay, and lastly, we have law number 12, the law of rhythm. Everything has a rhythm. Everything is moving in a cycle. There is the moon cycle, the seasons change, there is a cycle of life and death, and everything else falls into a similar pattern. Just like the moon, you have your own light and shadow cycles. If you are in the shadow one, do not fret, but wait it out. Focus on yourself and wait it out. And when you are in the light cycle, use it to its full potential. Each cycle will start and end many times during your life. Okay, so law number 12, how can you use the law of rhythm to be a successful commercial real estate agent? Well, know that every deal has a cycle or every, every market has a particular cycle, uh, a down cycle and an up cycle. Which one are you on? If you're in a down cycle, if things are not moving as, as you expected, things are not progressing, deals are not closing, well, what can you do? Well, you can continue to work on your own training. Maybe now's a good time to work on that other type of marketing or that other type of prospecting or that other types of properties to look into. Uh, maybe that's what that down cycle will teach you. But when you're in the up cycle, are you leveraging to the maximum advantage, right? Are you getting the maximum advantage of all those deals cl closing? Are you uh, stacking more opportunities on top of opportunities so that you can continue to uh, just manifest more great things for you in your commercial real estate business. So there you go, those are the 12 universal laws. I hope that helps you to build your commercial real estate business. I'm making these videos so that people worldwide who are working in commercial real estate business as an agent are uh, learning what it takes to be more successful. As I'm learning what it takes to be successful in commercial real estate, I'm teaching you what it takes to be su successful in commercial real estate, and then we can all be successful in commercial real estate.